restaurants, and Chora Bazaar here in the Broadway Hotel on the edge of the old city is considered to be one of the best. I'm meeting up with its head chef to learn some of the secrets of Kashmiri cooking. I'm here with Chef Padreep, the king of Kashmiri cuisine, and what can be more iconic than Rogan Josh? That's right, that's absolutely right. Rogan means the oil which floats on the top when the dish is cooked, and Josh is the hotness and spiciness which we get in that. How does one get started? High heat? It should be. So let's begin with the mustard oil first. We need those fumes to evaporate, otherwise the dish will become very bitter. That's a lot of oil from where I'm coming from. You know, Bobby, spices are the king of the dish. There are no onions, no tomatoes, no butter, no cream which has gone into the dish. It's only meat and spices. So let's begin. Green cardamom, black cardamom. We'll pound it a bit. You know why? We want these essential oils to ooze out. We're very friendly with this mustard. Then some cloves, some bay leaves, couple of cinnamon sticks. We'll add some cumin seeds to it. Immediately followed by the mutton, which is pre-cut. Lovely. This is the magical sound we get when we cook the with Josh. This cooking on the high heat also ensures that all the juices are sealed in the meat. How old is a mutton? Two to three years, not Two more than years. that. Because then it gets starting really tough. But if you cook it like this, it'll get tender, no? Absolutely. Kashmiris are very specific for as far as their meat cuts are concerned. For Rogan Josh, they only use leg. Now you're cooking it bone on. Would you want to cook it bone off as well, or you're particular about the, the real bone juices off? comes from the bone. You can see the meat is now a little brown in color. So now we'll begin with the asafoetida. This will enrich the flavor. This will also help in reducing the temperature of the dish. It's taken out from the sap of trees, which is mostly found in the hills of Uttaranchal, Nepal. The resin and the sap of trees that grows at the foothills of the Himalayas. Absolutely. Bobby, this is Kashmiri red chili powder. This provides body to the dish and excellent color. Don't be afraid of the quantities of chilies going in because it's really not at all hot. It's looking good. Now is the time to add some salt to it. I wanted the moisture to evaporate. Now, it will take in all the salt it wanted. And immediately after that, we should add curd to it. See, this is completely different from how Russia would cook anything. Absolutely. I mean, they basically season that first and then sear it. True. But this is going to give a different taste altogether to the dish. Now Pradeep adds some water to cool the temperature before the next round of spices begin. So you can't add all the spices at one time? No, because every step is important. For the layers of flavors? That's right, because I want every spice to leave the impression on the meat pieces. Bobby, as you know, Kashmir has an influence from the Afghans and the Mughals who have ruled Kashmir for centuries. So the combination of ingredients and the processes has evolved now. Next, Pradeep adds fennel. Oh, I've never seen that much fennel added to a dish before. You do this with incredible confidence. I noticed that across India, everyone seems to just like just throw in spices with instinct versus measurement. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know, this is inculcated into us. You see, when I'm eating this dish traditionally, yes. I've never tasted the fennel before. Today like, you will, because perhaps you haven't had the real thing before. Now, for some powdered ginger. This has the role of keeping the dish warm. The body is warm. Why it's required? Because of the cold climate of Kashmir, which is terribly cold during winters, and people generally hibernate for literally four to five months in their houses. This looks fantastic as of now. The nice, deep red color, exactly the way we want it. Then, a little more water before the final round of spices. This is the very basic cumin powder and the iconic garam masala. And as you know, Bobby, garam masala is blend of so many spices which does not have its any set recipe. It could be a combination of five masalas and it could be a combination of 50 masalas. So masala means what, exactly? Spice, masala spice. is spice. Every garam masala has its own recipe. Every chef has its own recipe. And we take pride in garam masala. So a spice mixture ranging from anything from five to, to 50. 50, absolutely. Galati kebab can use a garam masala blend of more than 136 spices. Ah, and that guy's a spice master. Absolutely. 
A chef's gar marsala mixture is a closely guarded secret. And I tried, but Pradeep ain't giving his away. So Bobby, now is the time to let it simmer for 45 minutes. Can I just taste it now? This tastes excellent already. There's a little sour, a little heat, but then after that, it's harmony. Good to hear this. It's music to the ears. Well, it's music to my palate. I'll wait outside. Hi, Bobby. Hi. The mutton drogan juice for you. Hope you like it. Looks divine, I'm sure I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just watched him make it, and I have only the scent of cardamom that I can detect. That is divine, incredible. There's something about this dish that seems humble because it's mutton, but should be eaten by nobility because it's just that good. With all this history, you might think Delhi's food scene is stuck in the past. Well, think again. For better or worse, Delhi...